You know, people ask me why I don't do more gospel songs. I always tell them it's because I'm a Jew from New York. But this is a gospel song. Uh, it's an agnostic gospel song. A what? An agnostic gospel song. That sounds impossible, Andy. No, just a colossal waste of time, yes. Here's an agnostic gospel song. There is a train, train, train that is bound for glory, but you won't, but you won't find me on board. If you're wondering why, why, oh why, come and listen to the story of why I'm not on a first name basis with the Lord. When I was a little child, just a little bitty tight, I used to read the Gospels and I prayed at night up in my room. But then I went to college, hook em horns, and the required reading included Schopenhauer, Kant, and David Hume. In a very short time, in the relative sense, I had to declare my major, and I chose philosophy. Cause I began to think, therefore I am, that I could totally ace the midterm. Because I could already spell epistemology by my sophomore year, still living in the dorm, I began to doubt and ponder the very existence of you know who I had become a godless heathen actually I prefer the term agnostic whatever profound as Bertrand Russell existential as Camus hey give me that old skepticism give me that logical positivism dialectical materialism's good enough for me have you washed in Einstein's theory that space-time is curvilinear, not flat, or speculate? Each moment of your life is as random as Schrodinger's cat. So today I stand here as a non-believer, but I'm tempted to change my ways, cause recently while I was thinking deeply, I realized agnostics don't have any holidays. There is a train, train, train that is bound for glory, but you won't, but you won't find me on board. If you want to end why, I go by coming to say to the story of why I'm not on a first name basis with the